This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Lil Keyfish, and in this video, I'll be covering the substance called Datura. This is a delirium flower that has been used for thousands of years for its shamanic, religious, and medical purposes, as well as being used as a poison. The effects are extremely powerful and dangerous by making people hallucinate for days on end and sometimes even kill them. I'll go over the dangers, effects, history, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. The Datura plant is a flower that is known as a powerful and dangerous delirium. For thousands of years, it's been used on most continents throughout ancient Americas, Europe, and India. It's been used for medical purposes, religious ceremonies, and even to poison people. It produces long-lasting delirium effects, including hyper-realistic and unpleasant hallucinations, along with short-term amnesia. Other side effects are dry mouth, nausea, fear, anxiety, difficulty breathing, confusion, and worst, death. The plant grows in the form of trumpet-shaped flowers and can range in color from pure white to pinkish purple, although some species have flowers that are bright yellow or magenta. They have a grimy aroma to them and are sometimes referred to as devil's trumpets, jimson weed, or moon flowers. The size of the plant can vary and new species are often just variations that depend on the region and conditions it's grown in. And there are many different types of deter plants that grow in different regions across the globe. Here are some of the most common ones. The first recorded deter poisoning occurred in 1676 during the Bacon Rebellion. This is during the unsuccessful colonization of Jamestown, Virginia. Virginia, when British soldiers under Captain John Smith ate a salad of deterra leaves and began to hallucinate. The soldiers' behavior became delirious and acted as fools for multiple days after. The term Jimson weed originates from the name Jamestown weed. It is likely that some cultures would use deterra recreationally up to the 17th century during a time when alcohol was expensive. Other historical cultures would mix deterra leaves and seeds with marijuana and smoke it. The use of deterra in a modern context peaked in the 1960s and 70s with an upsurge in interest in shamanic practices. During this time, it was linked with teenagers and became associated with rebelliousness and danger. Today, the plant is legal to possess, but cultivation is illegal in some areas and states. The largest variety of species occurs in Central America, which suggests that this is the origin of the genus. All parts of the Datura plant, including the seeds and flowers, are toxic and hallucinogenic to humans and many other mammals. Since the potency varies from plant to plant, this makes using the substance extremely difficult to dose safely. An overdose of Datura can occur from ingestion of as little as half a tea spoon of seeds, but in other cases it can take five times that amount to OD. Due to the toxicity being highly variable, it makes deter exceptionally hazardous to use as a substance. Because no matter what dose one takes, they're bound to have one of the most insane experiences of their life. When orally ingested, it takes about one to two hours to kick in, and once the effects are felt, the trip can last up to 12 to 18 hours. Then the after effects can linger for another one to two days. Overall, it is typically regarded as not recreational, and in general the drug should probably be avoided altogether. Another delirium that has a shorter duration but can cause similar effects is DPH, which is the main ingredient in Benadryl. Watch this video next to learn everything there is to know about DPH, including why and how people are tripping off Benadryl. Interestingly enough, Benadryl is used by many people to induce a state of delirium and have hallucinations. My name is Fish and I stay low-key. Remember to follow me on Instagram. Peace out.